All right, and today we're back with another robot ratings, and the first spot we're looking at is Dark Phoenix's their world spot, which is a 15 inch tier three. And we'll quickly just play the video for you guys, kind of just to see what they've been cooking up. So this is a an inside tier three. A lot of people have been designing something similar to this, and honestly, I do feel like this is one of the the best designs for this. For the tier for the tier three with top ring, and you can see it's very very quick. Around ten seconds takes it for it to get all the way up and even score that top ring. Whereas it's totally totally enough time to to use in in your in tournaments, right? Because you have that thirty second protection period, so that definitely gives you plenty of time to hit this tier three. And if you look closely, I know a lot of teams who are designing this tier three are kind of using the the lady brown as the arm that that that's like pulling up right but here in this case they kind of just avoided the hassle of trying to route that string and everything else and like the length and the extra length on the lady brown by just using a separate piece and i think that's really that's really genius right because using that piece using the separate piece then that means they don't have to worry about the lady bound being too heavy or just anything anything remotely related to the lady bound performance right and because i know like if you, if you string then the wrapping of the string would be a lot very 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 annoying but here they're really able to, to pull this tier three up really really easily and very nicely as well right they sent they sent this video a couple days ago now so you know i know a lot of you guys have seen it already who's in the server so make sure they join the server it's gonna be just uh discord slash like robolytics so just join the server and yeah honestly this is a definitely very achievable in high school as well i know this is vex you but very achievable in high school this is easily an s tier all right we go go up a little bit and then we'll then we'll, we'll go down new meta anti go rush i think people have already tried this before i know a lot of cali teams ran a rush where they had a ring in the lady brown and that would slap them onto the goal and they pull it back so this is only getting in b tier because uh, first of all a lot of people already have it before and also you can do it better by scoring a ring on top as well right you don't need to just you don't need to just uh settle for knocking it over you can score a ring on it and knock it over high school spirit division looks very nice 1875N, very clean robot. Like a spirit div. Looks like they have a they have the ring rush doinkers, right? One on each side, actually probably going for that middle ring, middle ring auto, right? So that's pretty clean, and all just all the so much poly on this robot. They even have a, a poly like outline. Is that a poly skirt even? On the the chassis support it's a little weird but it looks nice this is definitely a an s tier looking robot yeah the back the back is not too shabby either it looks very nice okay this was driver don't know if we're gonna make macro detective and here you see they had their tier three is uh is kind of kind of reminiscent of echoes tier three where it's kind of connected to their their wall stick mech, right? Their wall stick mech is a is a direct mech, so kind of similar to Echo, honestly, because they're able to you know pull this. It's kind of like connected to the same way where it's a one by one linkage, and that direct mech is very similar to their their uh, asymmetrical four bar lift, where you know even it lifts up in this kind of the same way, and that allows this inside tier three to work very nice as well. This only takes like nine seconds, maybe eight seconds. So very fast. It's also getting an S tier for me. Next up, we have a, we have a box bot. Wow, just square, square drivetrain. Looks, oh, all right. <laughs> this is getting a, this is getting an F tier, unfortunately. <laughs> Don't think you can do much. I think it's out of size as well. Anyways, all right, what do we got here? Oh, okay. We have a... <sighs> what is that no 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 mount motor powered it's just a <laughs> no did it outpush this robot there's no way 
has to have been just <laughs> okay they made it look like they outpushed it as an s tier robot right here i hope i, I wish i could put this as the this thumbnail but i probably have to do the tier three 14 12 j okay interesting i like uh, is this weird how they're not using a they have like this slanted front ram bar wedge but they don't have poly on it so i advise putting poly on it and maybe put a little little groove in the middle for that wall stake for the wall stake to go but yeah this looks looks decent i'm gonna give it a b tier anyways we're gonna go down now we're gonna go down down and down does the cat look cook or nah looks cook looks nice um yeah i think it looks nice however like there's really no point in using l channels on the drive like i would re i would really hate to see <laughs> vex turn into that where they use the l channels on the drive but it's nice you know what this is very bold i'm gonna give an a tier it's very bold oh this is this is interesting as well once again not using uh, any any wedges down here maybe they maybe i mean i guess you can like let me know if this works without if you're like you can like you can take the bottom ring of those stacks without a wedge on this design right maybe you can but i doubt it but yeah maybe, maybe you can also i would just change these like 12 teeth high strength gear the the metal ones into into just spacers because that's just unnecessary weight you have hanging very far away from your center of gravity which will slow down your your turning speed slow down the because it will give you more more rotational inertia and you'll turn slower so you want to <laughs> you want to make sure that that you're able to keep all your mass centered right and down centered right because you know keep it low right so that you don't tip and keep it centered so you don't so you can spin faster but yeah that's that's it this is getting a it's getting a p tier all right first year building high school worlds by any comments Whew. first year this is very nice definitely definitely good i would advise when spray painting right i don't know if you guys are new to spray painting but i do it in like coats and like do a little bit at a time so then you don't get this glossy finish. Maybe maybe you got glossy paint actually, but yeah, I I I think that matte paint is much cleaner. At least personal preference. So yeah. But anyways, if you got matte paint and it looks like this, it's probably because you're just like sprayed it continuously instead of putting on coats. But yeah, looks good. Looks looks nice. Uh, if you have nowhere else to put your tank, you can put it up there. But like if you have somewhere else to put your tank, I'd put your tank lower so you don't like have any problems with like tipping or anything but i wouldn't like putting it lower doesn't mean putting it on like your intake bar or anything that means putting like center low right but yeah looks looks nice i like how they're not using a high strength shaft up here on the on the lady brown right they're not using a high strength shaft they're using a, a standoff setup so then it's really keeping the weight down there so that's nice this is also it's also getting uh it's getting it's gonna get an A tier. However, I noticed they're using a high strength shaft. You really don't need it, right? Because like, think about where would you need that high strength shaft? If they were to, if they were to ram this high strength shaft, sure, right? You're gonna need it because if you have a low strength there, it's gonna bend. But they're, but like your opponents are never gonna be able to ram that the high strength shaft, just because of you having the C channel here. So I would don't think that high strength shaft is necessary, just because it even increases friction for you as well. So not great anyways this is getting uh it's getting an eighth here like i said and yeah that's it thanks